Hi, I hope you are having a fantastic day. Welcome to another super quick tutorial by Mavi Design. Today, I will show you how to link layers in Photoshop. When working in Photoshop, sometimes you need two or more layers to behave like a single layer. Some examples could be images with captions, a part of an interface, and so on. That is exactly what the linking feature is for. The linking feature allows you to move and scale multiple layers together. Here we have two images with captions. The one on the right is linked with its headline, the one on the left is not. Let's see what happens when we drag the images around. This one can be moved independently, while this one cannot because of the linking. To link layers in Photoshop, select the elements you want to link. Then right-click them in the Layers panel and select Link Layers. They will now behave like a single layer when you'll move them around and transform their size. Notice that they are now marked with chain symbols in the Layers panel. There can be multiple groups of link layers present at one time, similar to what we have here. Those of you that are already familiar with Photoshop might be asking why don't we use layer groups instead? That's an excellent question and linking layers indeed is very similar to layer groups. But there is one small and important distinction. Grouping layers makes them behave as a single layer to a full extent. This means that when you apply effects to a layer group, you apply it to all individual elements of this group. If you change the position within the layer hierarchy, you move all the individual elements with it as well. Notice that when we move this layer group behind the rectangle, all the elements move behind the rectangle. That is different from linking layers. If you link layers, they still behave as individual layers. If we move the rectangle in between two linked layers, one of them will go behind the rectangle and one of them in front of it. Also, if you align linked layers, they align as individual elements. Notice the difference in aligning groups, as opposed to aligning linked layers. It works similarly with applying effects. This is what you get when applying effects to a group. And this is what you get when you apply effects to a layer that is linked. From my experience, the biggest benefits of linking layers as opposed to layer groups or creating smart objects, is the possibility of having other layers inserted in between linked layers. This is necessary when, for example, working with objects that are simultaneously in front of and behind the main point of interest. If you have any questions or if there's anything unclear, let me know in the comments. Thanks for tuning in for this tutorial. I hope you have learned something new and useful, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!